This is the Leica 35mm f1.4 Sumilux steel rim reissue. Announced in 2022, it's a re-release of a long discontinued model based on an optical design from the 60s. Its physical design is slightly different and it features a 46mm filter thread. It also has 6-bit coding engraved into the mount for use with a digital Leica. The aperture ring goes from f1.4 to f16 in half-stop increments, and the focusing ring goes down to just under 1 meter. It weighs just over 208 grams, is just over 5.2 centimeters wide, and is just about 2.6 centimeters tall. Here's just how big it is compared to a roll of film, a deck of cards, a Ricoh GR1, and a Pentax 6.7. Here's its size in comparison to the Leica 50mm pre-aspherical Sumilux. And my favorite lens, the Leica 35mm pre-aspherical Sumilux. Here's what it looks like when mounted onto a black paint Leica MP. And it comes with a beautiful hood as well. And here's what that looks like. And now, here's what it looks like when mounted onto a silver chrome Leica MP. While well, I mentioned just now that it has 46mm filter threads, you can't quite use filters with the hood. I go more into that in my full review on it that is currently live on the channel, but that's something that you might want to take note of. It has a matte silver chrome finish with black text that shows you the distance that you're focused to in meters, and red text that shows you the distance in feet. And one interesting design element about it is that it retains the silver coined edge at the base of the lens, something unique to the vintage pre aspherical Sumilux. Now, while the optical design of this lens is based on the original, it does have modern coatings on the glass, and that means that the pictures will look different compared to the vintage lens. The pictures made with this lens have a classic look to them, but with a much higher sense of contrast. I've been using this lens as my main one over the last few months, and I'm just about to complete a full in-depth review where we go over all the details between the reissue and my favorite lens, the vintage Prius Virgo Sumilux. So if you want more sample pictures, and if you're interested in going deeper, stay tuned. And if you want to watch more hands-on videos like this, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.